bring to each of us a sense of loyalty to our country and enable us to better patriots, truer citizens, and more loyal Americans. To thy glory and to the honor of this great nation, amen. In the latter part of 1775, the Continental Congress appointed a committee to consider the question of a single flag for the United as, as the human race, the carrying of banners have been a custom among all peoples of all ages. These banners usually contain some concept of the life or government of those who fashion them. The evolution of the American flag marks the progress of the government of the American people. From the landing of the Pilgrims in 1620, until 1775, the flag of England was the flag of the people of America. In 1775, the pine flag was adopted for all colonial vessels, and this was the banner carried by the Continental Forces in the Battle of Action. Hoisted this flag to the masthead on December 3rd, 1775, and one month later, it was raised over the headquarters of General Washington at Cambridge, Massachusetts, in compliment, as he wrote, to the United Colonies of West Indies. In response to a general demand for a banner more representative of our country, the Congress of June 14, 1777, provided that the flag, the Philadelphia Quaker West, to make a flag from a rock design in that group. It is said that she suggested that the flag should be shrunk in Saracen, and the Saracen struck her colors with the immortal fame. Since 1918, there has been no change in the flag design except for 28 new stars were added before July 4th, 1912. at once a history, a declaration, and a final body to require formal observance of Flag Day. In July of 1908, the Grand Lodge of this order at Dallas, Texas, then assembled, provided for the annual nationwide observance of Flag Day on the 14th of July in each year by making it mandatory upon each subordinate lodge of the order. This unique distinction as the ordinator or originator of the Flag Day is most becoming to the Order of Elk. By the naval battles in the seas about the far distant islands of the Pacific. After the sneak attacks upon Pearl Harbor and Manila in 1941 had summoned our country to assume its role in World War II. What our troops achieved under the stars and stripes at Chateau Pierre and Flanders in World War I, their sons were required to repurchase in World War II. The flag of the United States of America. The Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty 
Justice. Good morning, everyone. We are the most free country on this planet. We are the envy of the world because of our freedoms. We are one country where you can call me as your mayor, names, and remain free. Think about it. There are countries where you could be put in jail at best. Our television news problems can make jokes about our president, and they remain free to make jokes. We can follow any religion we wish, or follow no religion if we so decide. Do you realize in China, you could only have one child? My second and third sons should be pleased we don't have that restriction to our freedoms. Many young men and women have fought to maintain our freedoms, including me. And many of you here today, many of our friends have given their lives to protect our freedoms. And every time I see our flag, every time I salute the flag, I give those men and women my respects. To me, our beautiful flag represents those freedoms. Freedoms that we can never take for granted. So today, we celebrate Flag Day. But in reality, we celebrate our freedoms and our way of life. Thank you very much.